Hey guys, it's Scott from Let's Play Easy Mode, and today we're gonna be diving back into the world of Gears of War 2. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you're new here, then welcome to the channel. And if you're one of our regulars, then welcome back. Today, we're gonna be picking things back up with Gears of War 2. And where we left off, it was actually a very epic kind of cinematic ending. Uh, all the boys were down underground. They were in the tunnels. Uh, we had Dom and Marcus and Carmine. And uh, they, they finally, they found Carmine and then they all started working together. And then all of a sudden, uh, we, we had these big giant worms. And it was a really cool game dynamic. And I thought they were big giant worms. I was going to find out later, they are not that big compared to what we were going to face. But we had these worms that, as long as we fed them with those like little lighted flowers or whatever, like glowing flowers, we would shoot those and they drop down the ground. And the worm comes along and it's like yum, 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 and it eats them. And then you can hide behind the worm. And then you can use that, uh, you know, for cover and a battle. And it was really kind of a neat dynamic. Um, but then towards the end, we saw a giant worm. It kind of reminded me of like the giant space worm in Star Wars that uh, in Empire Strikes Back, you know, when the Millennium Falcon flies into it and, he, and then they fly out, you're like, this is, this is no cave or whatever. And then you see the big worm come up. It was like that big. I mean, it, it was coming through. And then, you know, Marcus was, you know, uh, talking back to HQ going like, there's this worm and this worm is what's taking out the cities, you know? And so that was just really cool. And that's where we left off. And that's where we're gonna pick things back up. So I hope you guys are excited. I know I'm excited for this ride today. I have no idea what's gonna be coming, but uh, I'm really excited to see what this game offers us. I'm, so far, I'm really enjoying, I feel like the, the battle is bigger in Gears of War 2. I'm enjoying the story. I'm, ex uh, I'm kind of enjoying uh, like the investment in the characters even a little more this time now that I've gotten to know them. Uh, you know, from the first game, you know, I'm, I really care, you know, about Dom and, and uh, you know, and, and Marcus. And, you know, I care about like Dom finding Maria, you know, who obviously is his girlfriend or whatever. So, you know, little things like that, that they add to the story that I think uh, are really cool and gives you a reason to be even more invested in them. So, all right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and dive into this. Before we do, I just wanna ask uh, if you would also like this video, click that thumbs up on this because it does help the channel. Uh, and also subscribe for more content if you're not already a subscriber to Let's Play Easy Mode. Come hang out with us at Discord. The link for that is down below. And if you'd like to dive in deeper with me, you can do that by hopping on over to the Patreon page by going to this link right here for $5 a month. Not only will you be supporting the channel, but you can also get your hands on early release content. You don't have to wait for these videos to hit YouTube because they hit Patreon first. For $10 a month, you can get that plus exclusive content because we have games that we're playing on Patreon that uh, you're not gonna see on YouTube. They're just for Patreon eyes only. But no matter what you sign up for, do make sure to hang out with us on Wednesday nights uh, for our weekly Patreon exclusive Wednesday night live stream. We always have a lot of fun on Wednesdays. Special thanks going out to our current list of patrons, guys. I love you. Thank you so much for your support. You're wonderful and you really help keep the gears running here, no pun intended, uh, at uh, let's play easy mode. <laughs> I, I almost lost my train of thought with that pun. That was kind of funny. If you're out there and you want to join this amazing list of names, then make sure to hop on over and get signed up at Patreon today. All right, guys, without further ado, let's pick things back up with Marcus, Dom, and Carmine, and let's dive back into the world of Gears of War 2. Okay, guys, we are picking things back up. Uh, here we are. This is horrible. Oh, my God sinking feeling. If they sunk Tolan, Montevado, and now Elima, and they all surround Jacinto. Shh. They're punching holes around Jacinto to sink it. Okay, there we are. This is KR-54. I'm hit. I... Control. KR-5 is down in the Elima sinkhole. We're in route. Over. Roger, Delta. Wow. Alima was evacuated, but keep an eye out for surviving stranded just in case. Okay. 
Welcome. Delta out. This should be interesting if we actually find some people. Because, you know, one thing that we haven't seen a lot of, and I actually talked about this with Halo, um, was, you know, we got so caught up in being the soldiers in that game, and really the same way, I believe, with the first Gears of War, that you kind of lost sight of just the horror of what it would be like to be a civilian. Now, there was that place in the first game. I can't remember what it was called. <clears throat> but they did go to a place where there were a bunch of people that were, like, living there. But can you imagine, like, and maybe they do this later in the series as, like, a prequel. I don't know. But, man, how crazy would it be to actually see these events from, like, a civilian's point of view when the outbreak, when the immersion, I'm sorry, the, not the outbreak, but the immersion first happened. Um, I, I think that would be really an interesting story to tell and to see. Let's get um, over to that chopper, Delta. But it's interesting that we're going after right. civilians. Down. Oh, that is epic. Whoa. Can you imagine if this game had a remaster? That would be cool. You should do the whole series. But without losing the mood, because this game does really well having a certain mood to it. And I'm actually going to switch back over to this. Uh, we have that. And we have that. There we go. I like this gun. It works. It works. It it brings them down pretty quick. Though it, I don't have as much ammo as I do with the other gun. I have like 600 bullets or whatever. <gasps> oh no! They got blood mounts down here. Watch their reach. Oh gosh, we couldn't save him. Lucas, they're killing everyone back there. Watch your fire around the civilians. Oh! Whoa, that thing is something else. Okay. Do I kill the mount? Oh, it blew up the car too, so it's a good thing I wasn't um, using it. Oh gosh, here we go. Gotta be careful. Sweet. Maybe they can't blow the car up twice. Did I get him? I know if you get him with a head shot, they they pop like bubble wrap. Peekaboo, I see you. Got him. Oh gosh, okay, there we go. That's who Dom was going after. Nice. Blood now. Hello. I didn't mean to do that. But I won't complain. Is there more? There's Dom. There's some ammo. That's nice, more ammo. Where's he coming 
from. Oh, over there. Yeah, I'm really slow with this, but it's cool. We got him. Good job, guys. I should go get that ammo. Dom and Carmine have this. So. Actually, I might get a good perspective over here. Okay. Well, it doesn't look like there's any enemies this way. Wait, what's that? What's this? Oh, here we go. Uh, Elima City Help Wanted ad. Exceptional career opportunity. Full-time house cleaner wanted to keep up large uh, Lima City. Um, or Alima, uh, city household, uh, must be meticulous with an attention to detail. House has been in the family for generations in immaculate. I bet it's not immaculate anymore. Uh, and would like to keep it that way. That's really interesting. And, and it, again, a little taste of what life used to be. They're coming from. Okay. I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh, goodness. Raver! Oh, gosh. I'm stuck. I can't get out. Um, I can't do this. Let's get a different weapon. Good lord, I am stuck. Oh, I got that's right, I can duck. I can duck and run and bob and weave. Come on. Where's my help? They must be uh, having their own battle right now. Where are you guys at? Okay. You know, we still didn't get that sound, so it makes me think that, uh, there's more to come. I kind of want to get my mortar gun again because that was really cool. It was over here that I put it down somewhere because I realized it was just getting me killed hanging on to it. That thing was so fast. Is that more ammo? Very possible that I have dropped that weapon and that it is not going to come back. And that's okay. All right, let's go. Got a little use out of it. Let's go get the boys. Don't know where they are, but Kinda, I'm not saying they ran away. I'm just saying they, uh... Oh, that's right. Kinda curious what happened to them. I was hoping they'd give me a hand. Oh, is that it? Oh my goodness, it was way back here. Where you guys at? Dom, Carmine? Got a lot of ammo for sure. Oh, hey, thanks for all the help, guys. Oh, and now we get the damn. Raven down. I've got Charlie Nine Locust approaching our position, requesting assistance. 
copied, 5-4. Delta's on its way. Keep moving, Delta. That pilot doesn't have much time. Yo, Delta, Cole here. Locust got ambushes all over. Stay with me. Cole train. Cole, do you read? Cole! He's got to be close if we're hearing him. Yeah, let's hope so. There's the smoke flare, Delta. Head that way and stay ready. We aren't the only ones who are going to be following that trail. Okay. More ammo, but we're good. Dry eyes here, guys. My contacts. I saw this, and it first, from a distance, it, it, uh, that right there. Oh. Take cover. Concentrate your fire on that tunnel. See if that does the trick. Oh, that rained a little bit of stuff on him. That's a very Duke Nukem kind of line. Oh, look at that! This whole area is falling apart. All that ammo that was around a second ago. Oh, there we go. Nice. <laughs> yeah. It's time to kick butt and chew bubble gum. And I'm all out of gum. Got some more? No, no, we're all full on the ammo. Looks like we have a couple directions here we can go. Do we ever actually see Carmine's face? I don't think we have yet. Well, wherever there's there's desks to hide behind, there's going to be enemies to shoot. One would Damn think. It. We didn't make it in time. Control KR five four and Charlie nine are KIA. Delta out. Get back inside the building. We're sitting ducks out here. Yeah, <laughs> what building? Ambush! Take cover. Told ya. Can't really get him from this angle. I don't know why. Where's my boys? Oh, I, I'm stuck. I can't move. Apparently, I can't 
go. There. Mayday, mayday, mayday. This is Delta and Lima Sinkhole. Any squads in the area, mayday. Oh. Okay. Is that Coltrane? That's Coltrane. All right. Is that gotta be? There he is. Woohoo! There's a train coming through. And he's an army by himself. Oh! Nobody plays this game like me! Nobody! Cole! <laughs> In the flesh, baby! <laughs> Try to tell you to stay away from that chopper, man! Sounds like you got a thick foot! It did. Thanks for the assist, Cole. Where's the rest of your squad? Here's my squad. Oh. Except for Baird and Tanner. We got separated after the drop. Baird! The last message came from nearby. Sounds like we got a new objective. Control. We're this gonna is get Delta. Baird back. Cancel Mayday. We've regrouped with Cole. Baird and Sigma are MIA. We're assisting on the search. Is that what you call it when I saved your Copy that, Delta. We have additional squads moving in to secure Lima. Roger, Control. We'll keep you posted. Delta out. We <laughs> regroup. That's a good one. Good thing you got your star player back, Delta. <laughs> Welcome back, Coltrane. Yeah. Oh, that makes me happy. I always loved Coltrane. He was a cool character. He still is. He's a cool character. Oh, fighting in the graveyard. This message came from up this way, towards that tunnel. Then let's check it out. Gosh, those guys take no time at all. And they are coming after me. Can we all work together? There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, I got his body part on me there. Okay, they're coming. You know, I'm sniper in this guy. I think that did it. Oh, no, I missed. They get him? go let's keep going boys we got Coltrane we gotta get bear I wonder if we'll eventually just get to be our group again it's just gonna give our our foursome back which I am totally fine with. I'm all about introducing new characters but I love having the original crew always these kinds of games you, then you get even more. The more they're together, the more character Damn, development they dig you some get. Big -ass tunnels down here. It's the worm. Huh? Some kind of oh, giant worm know. is making all these tunnels. It's what's sinking the cities, too. You kidding me, right? I wish. That's so crazy, boy. But I guess the whole world's gone crazy, right? 
the uh, language filter actually does do a little bit more in this game than it did in the first game. That was kind of the running gag for our playthrough in the first game was how the, the uh, language filter didn't actually filter out a ton of language. Look guys, look at all this. It's a Korok puzzle. Fans of Zelda games will know what I'm talking about. Do I break that up? Maybe, or maybe not. Yeah, I can break it for fun, but it doesn't seem to be doing much. Anything? I don't know if the boxes are providing anything. I mean, I'm not seeing anything. I don't know if they typically do. So far, I'm not reaping any major reward other than the satisfaction of breaking them open. Marcus, what's in these things? That's not Barrett, is it? <gasps> no, it's his jump mate. Rest in peace, Tanner. Damn. All right, that means if Tanner's gone, we're gonna find Baird, and then the four of us will be back together. And we'll have Carmine. I wonder if Carmine will be the fifth, or if Carmine will then move hey, on to his own thing. Hey, Cole! Get me out of here, man! Can you hear me? Ha <laughs> I hear you, bird! Then get me the hell out of here! There he is! <coughs> About time! What the hell took you guys so long? You're welcome. What the hell are the locusts doing taking prisoners? They're locking people up in these things, taking them deeper into the hollow. They were gonna process me, man. Whatever that means. I saw mm. these locals some process. Come on, we need to check this out. He was gonna get fingerprinted, Keep and they were gonna take a mugshot. I didn't think the locals took prisoners. I guess they do now. If they do, there's clearly a strategy behind it. <laughs> I'm going to assume these are there to hide behind. And they're just there. They're probably there to hide behind, but to also, like, they, they won't last, you know? Like, you can't hide behind them totally, because they will break. That's them, the beast barges. That's where they're taking people. I think they're torturing them in there. Oh. Then let's get up there. If there's anyone still in there, we're getting them out. Come on. Okay. Apparently, we're taking that thing down. Shoot! Hey guys, can I get in there? Because I'm like the main player. Apparently not. Shoot. All right. You got a cold dude, right baby. Here. The bigger they are, the better to kill. Look at all those little legs moving. go up there and let's release the prisoners Gosh. what do you think we have to do work together boys Head up this way. Okay. Heck yeah. I'll take that. Mulcher, mount uh mount this heavy weapon on cover using left trigger for greater accuracy. The overheats. Okay. Wait, what about the other guys? One of those 
Cole and Baird have to go their own separate ways. This is, this is like a switch we gotta hit. Anybody? All clear. Oh gosh. Oh, here we now. Oh, I will take that all day. the way where do you think we're supposed to go over here Go, Dom. What? They're all over here now. Oh. Well, we came up top. I mean, that's a cool gun, but am I supposed to do something with this? I am. Are there any reavers or? Nope. Guess we're gonna go back downstairs. We'll scrap our gun. Go down here and see if we have anything pop out at us. Nope. No. I was seeing if if I drop the gun, if it would enable me to hit the button or something, but that door is an opening. I kind of wonder what we're what we're supposed to do. Is there a, let's see. Just get back into the action. Oh, that's what it says with the resume. It doesn't seem, find a way to get the barge moving. I, oh, you know, okay. Probably need to shoot it. No. Oh, I wonder. Hang on, is it this? Like you have to shoot this and it breaks it loose? Maybe up there? Kinda hard to tell. Cause it kinda does look like it's Unless that's what it needs, that's how it. There's gotta be something right here. 
Um. Oh, there it is. Ah, okay. Shoot, it hit me so hard, I... to get it going again. Is that the idea? Board and search the adjacent barge. Okay. I oh, want we'll to go down. Let's see if there's any prisoners in here. Anybody? Ty, is that you? <gasps> oh no, Ty's a zombie now. Marcus, we got more locusts on the way. Ty, let's go. Cole, Bear, cover that door. Carmine, Dom, guard the rear. Is Ty gonna be a zombie soldier? Oh. Ty! No! Ah, uh, so we wondered about Ty. Remember when we first got down, starred denizens? I told you they're breaking people. I can hear them screaming from the docks. I can't believe they did that to Ty. He survives everything, doesn't he? Let's just get the hell out of here. Man. I really like Ty a lot. You guys remember, I really enjoyed his demeanor. And uh, several episodes ago, when we first went down into the tunnels, I, you know, he was fighting that samurai looking monster thing and uh it stinks oh all right make them pay for what they've done to tie you don't want any bit of this I messed up. Oh, my goodness. I, I don't do that. I might as well just let all these guys handle it for me because I'm terrible. Did they do it? Did they literally handle it all for me? Oh. 
that's embarrassing. Carrying my own weight. Behind the barrier! Oh. I save my ammo. These guys are doing great without me. Oh. Right as I threw my grenade, that's when it ended. I wasted a good, perfectly good grenade. <laughs> I got this gun back. Find suitable location to contact control. Oh, look at all those weapons. Why can't I go up there? There we go. Nice. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> this is a cool gun. You gotta walk really slow. We gotta get through them, Delta. What? Oh shoot! I'm just shooting the edge of the ground. I'm... Yeah, I can't, get... I can't get them from there. Here, maybe. Boy, I'm really uh, sticking up the joint right now. Control, I don't know what the hell is going on down here, but Locust tactics have changed. They're capturing prisoners, torturing them. Hell, I don't know what else. I'm getting similar reports, Marcus. That's horrible. Did you find Baird? Yeah, we got Baird. We also found Ty. He didn't make it. Roger that, Delta. I've got a Raven en route. You've got a new objective. I'll tell you more on the way. And about Ty. I'm sorry, Marcus. Hmm. He was a good man. Yeah, he was. Thanks, Anya. Delta out. Ah, oh, good. Nice having five of us now. Kind of a slow walk here with this gun, but I didn't want to waste it. That's a lot of good. I have to knock that bridge down. Move to the extraction. Brought that thing down pretty quick. Okay, these guys are just running on without me. They're like, look, dude, you're gonna carry 160 bullets in that thing all this way. And I'm like, yes, I am. Sweet. More? How many do we get to uh, carry? 
Wow. Wait. Got him. Okay. That's cool, because I think you could only carry four in the first game. All right, what do we got, boys? Next. They're coming. Well, they may not be coming around. They may be in hiding, too. Oh, my boys keep jumping in front of me. Okay, never mind. Saw him. Saw him. Saw him. That's good. I'm just getting rid of this gun. Let's do this. Carried it long enough. <sighs> okay, there's got to be something that. I was gonna say, there's gotta be something that brings those things down or an area that you shoot them. Because um, everything else on easy mode here is like I'll take that. really easy, except those guys. They don't go down easy. So I'm thinking there's something I'm doing. Very generous with the grenades. Well, guys, I apologize. Uh, this one's on me, uh, but I've learned something. Uh, and that is that uh, my computer, the easy machine, is, uh, I need to start getting some external hard drives because all of this video that I save uh, is unfortunately starting to overload and uh, I finally got to the point where it stopped recording because I had insufficient space. Uh, you guys haven't missed a ton. We're at the point now where we need to, we're at like an extraction point and that's it. I mean, all you've missed is me just shooting a bunch of monsters, honestly. That's been it, just going from one spot to the next. Uh, I think I missed just a few minutes of gameplay. I looked over and realized I wasn't recording anymore, and there was a thing that said insufficient space, so I've had to go back in and delete all of these other recorded videos. And uh, so I think I'm gonna have to start investing in another external hard drive because uh, I don't want to just delete my finished videos and all that stuff, but uh, all of the raw stuff I'm, I'm just kind of getting rid of. So anyway, that said, my contact is driving me nuts. And um, let's go ahead and pick this back up. I'm glad I did not miss the cutscene. Oh. Hurry it up, one night. We need out of here now. There's that big giant worm. I wonder if we're gonna have a boss fight with that worm. Man, it's good to get the crew back together. I got your back, Sarge! Get your ass in here! Now. Oh no! Rookie, this ain't the big game yet! Send your ass for the playoffs! Oh, I knew it! We're in! No, rookie! Carmine! Whoa. I'm okay, Sarge! I can't believe we made it! 
I guarantee you what that means is he's gonna be out of action, and that means we've got Cole and Baird back. <gasps> no! Oh, shoot, we're in the worm. Dom. Oh my goodness. Dom. Oh, she looks nice. Dom, you awake? I brought you breakfast. He had a nice life there with the palm trees. The kids and are at my mother's, so we got the whole day to ourselves. That was Dom. his wife. Are you awake? Dom! 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 Dom, uh -oh. wake up! Way to ruin a dream. You wake up in this huh? balmy mouth. Dom, you okay? Tell me, tell me we aren't where I think we are. Hate to tell you, Dom. We are. Wow. Oh, that's gross. But, you know, I almost oh, wondered. This. this is just perfect. We're inside a giant worm. Now what in the cod's name are we supposed to do? Come on, man. Let's just cut our way out this bitch. No. First we kill it. Then we cut our way out. What? This is what's sinking the cities. This is our chance to stop it. And how the hell are we supposed to do that? Rip it. Barn out. Come on, let's move. So, this is interesting. I actually questioned this, I think, in the previous episode. I was like, I, was, I wondered if this was going to be like the Mandalorian where we were going to have to get inside of it and blow it up from inside. And it also makes me wonder what kind of things are going to be in here that we're going to be shooting. Um, I mean, certainly it's not swallowing its own, like, other... Like, it's not eating the locust, right? Or maybe it is. I don't know, but... Well, let's keep playing. Guys, again, I apologize for the lost footage, it wasn't much. It was just a lot of the wash, rinse, repeat stuff. Um, and it was only like maybe five minutes worth of stuff. <gasps> oh! Oh man, look at this. It's straight nasty down here. Where we at? Okay. We're taking this thing out from the inside. Oh. Wow. Oh, man. Oh! What is that? What the heck is that? Avoid the digestive teeth? Do we have digestive teeth in us? That's crazy. I mean, it would make sense. We gotta digest food somehow. It just but... keeps getting better. All right, keep in step with it's me. Like a Don't fall behind. Now. It's like a platform game. It's like Mario when the... the Brick things are falling down. Oh gosh. So do you crawl down to that or how's that work? He doesn't automatically do that, so uh let's See if we can. Might have to go through those other ones again. Yeah. Intestinal fortitude. It's a funny name for the level. All right, bring it down. Drop the hammer. It just keeps getting better. All right, keep in step with me. Don't fall behind. Luckily, okay, we see those things right there. So we just got to... It's only going to drop on those. We 
just have to... He doesn't... I'm not sure of this. I was wondering if I just did the dive jump or something. So there's something more to that that I'm not getting yet. I also had to move myself on the screen. I realized I forgot with this game, I've got to bring myself down so I'm not blocking the ammo count for you guys to see. So let's try to figure this out. What? It just keeps hey. getting better. All right, keep in step with me. Don't fall behind. Keep in line. Step in line. All of a sudden, all the soldiers are dancing. Mary Poppins, step in line. Mary Poppins, keep in line. Don't get killed by all that slime. Mary Poppins, st step in time. Step in line. Guys, I'm not sure what to do. What do I do? How? Wait a minute. I did. He just ran through there. Oh, that's how. If you run, you crouch, but you can't crouch without running. That makes sense, and I feel dumb that I didn't even think to just sprint through there. Sorry, guys. Sometimes I'm pretty C-A-T smart. What's this? Ammo. Check For all point. we know, this thing's heart's like a mile away from here. And how, how are we supposed to find it anyway? Baird, shut up. Keep watch for yeah, Baird. If we made it, he might have too. I wonder if it's not that we're gonna get locusts in here, but like some other weird stomach parasite or something like that. Creepy crawly stomach bugs. Or Do you think this might be the heart? There's no arteries or veins. No, this is something else. Yeah, but what? There's something up ahead. I knew it. Stomach bugs. He caught a stomach bug. They die easy though, that's good. I wonder if we need to kill those things hanging down. Oh. <gasps> oh no! You guys, he's not coming back from this. Carmine. Sarge. Carmine. I. I hurt, Sarge. I. I tell my brothers. My mom. Tell them I love them. And then. <coughs> That's sad. The hell? What the hell is it doing? I, um. I love having the original four together. I do. I, I loved having Baird and Coltrane. I was hoping that we would get the four of them together. Um, at the same time, um, 
I I really enjoyed the characters of Ty and Carmine, and it kind of makes me sad to lose them both in the same level here. Um, you know, in the same playthrough or same episode. Man, that's really sad. And the way he did it, too, you know, that reminds me of some of the other things I've seen, other war movies, you know, like Saving Private Ryan and things like that. When you see, like, the young rookie who's hurt, you know, and kind of, you know, help my mom, my mom, my mom. And it's like, ugh, it's so wrenching. Oh, come on, stop pissing it off. How the hell are you going to tell me what not to shoot in here? Look at this. <laughs> Oh, that's why. I mean, he's not wrong. Neither one of them are wrong. Run! The man's... What did he do? Did the... Oh, run. It's having a bowel movement. He just say this thing can eat? I didn't know this. Concentrate your fire on the opening. Keep moving. Watch your step. Damn it! Don't think about it! Saw that shit over, baby! I don't think I have a saw. Oh, yep, I do. Wow, this is intense! We're gonna see more of those crawly bugs, stomach bugs, flu bugs, we'll call them. Yes. What an episode. Oh, thank you. For creating a way. All right, continuing on. We're in the belly of the beast. What kind of meat you want? Center cut, ribeye, T-bone. Now's not the time. What are we doing here, boys? Oh! Whoa. Okay. Let's keep moving. This is the stomach. The heart and the lungs have got to be somewhere on the other side. Yeah, as long as its physiology plays by the rules. Go, go, go! Yeah, one of the problems here is we don't have any ammo. My guys, maybe you can help on the, the shooting here. I have a hard time with the circular motion. Oh, there's something. We do have ammo. Oh, look at that. 
guys? Did we? How we end up with another gun? Somehow we got another. It gave us that for the level, I bet, because it knew we needed a, a saw. I actually, I don't mind. This is the gun I'd rather have. Stinks like ass, man. Ass, more like cheesy rotten. Told you, him ass. <laughs> Forget the smell. This place is toxic. <coughs> well, we're on a one-way trip, so keep moving. <coughs> Said they're on a one-way trip. So they're so they're so tough. We gotta get the hell out of here. <laughs> going into this and not just knowing this is how they're gonna face death. I mean, we know we're not gonna die, but like this is how tough they are. It's like, oh, it's a one-way trip, so let's go right, into it. We got to get close. Can't feel good for the worm. So where the hell are we now? Looks like the sternum, or at least the giant worm equivalent of the sternum. Yeah. <laughs> and the heart's got to be close, right? Yeah, One can you. hope. What is this level actually called? This is um. Just the riff, it's just a riff worm heart. That's what it says, but. Hold up, listen. Is that a heartbeat? <gasps> yeah, heartbeat. and the end of this crazy ride. <laughs> Look at this. Can you imagine being inside this? If you want to view paradise. Simply look around and view it. Is that the heart? Welcome to the heart. Cut two arteries. Like this. Okay, right now he's gotta be going into AFib. <laughs> uh, guys, we're gonna drown in blood if we're not careful. Got two arteries. I haven't the even chamber's done. filling with blood. Let's do this quick, or we'll drown. Oh, there it is. You like, oh, here we go. Ugh, glad that's over. Now we can cut our way out this bitch. Good job, Delta. One dead worm. Well, how do you know that? Wait, probably not I dead still yet. Hear a heartbeat. Looks like we still got our work cut out for us. You know, like the kind of, with the last. Yeah, clever bear. We got it. Oh my gosh, maybe there's another heart. Hey! Okay, I didn't seem to harm us at all. Guys, we are covered in blood. Of 
course they gotta be up there. Well, there you go. Ooh. Nasty, huh? Medical sim game. Heart surgery. How'd they get on the other side? Oh, this way. Son of a bitch! Another heartbeat? Kranala, how many hearts are there, Bear? How the hell should I know? It doesn't matter. We'll cut them all. It's getting faster. We can put this thing down. This is quite the level. Four arteries. I bet there's going to be stuff right, to shoot this time. This the last part. Yeah! Oh, Stomach lining of this thing. Like, there's no way to spin this where it's not disgusting. Okay, now, here we go. Well, my controller's fighting. Oh, we got it. Now, how many more of those worms do they have? Here we go. Saws are sharp, and they get a lot of they get a lot of stuff done. Oh, this is just wrong. I'm coughing up blood that ain't mine. <laughs> <laughs> Control, Delta here. We just. Uh... <coughs> Uh, I don't know where to even begin, but uh, just get us the hell out of here. Ha <laughs> ha, man. Oh, that's crazy. Look out below, Delta. Incoming Centaur. What do you think they cleaned off with? We have. Are we going to drive a vehicle now? Control, I requested a pickup, not a drop-off. This is command. You've got new orders, Phoenix. 
Operation Isle of Storm continues, but we had insufficient intel on the Locust Stronghold. We need to accurately pinpoint the heart of the Hollow and take out their leader. Chairman Prescott just declassified an intel file that reveals a decommissioned COG outpost near your location. Well, I've been told it'll give us a lead on the location of the Locust Stronghold, and possibly some more intel on the Locust Queen as well. You and Delta are to check it out ASAP, and report any findings to command. Excuse me, <laughs> sir, but what the hell? Just declassified? And what do you mean, a Locust Queen? Everything is on a need-to-know basis, Sergeant. On direct orders from the Chairman. You have your oh. mission. Now get to it. Command out. Anybody else's bolt detector just go off? Marcus, man, this sounds sketch. If Hoffman didn't even know about this place... It's not like we have a choice. This operation's our last shot. Move out. Wow. Okay. Shotgun. Well, there we go, guys. I'm pretty sure that would be the end of Denizen. Let's see where we're what we're getting into. Gathering Storm. Okay. No one believes in ghosts. Ooh, look at this creepy place. I guess we're not going to drive a vehicle. It's just going to take us from one chapter to the next. Well, okay, guys, there we go. Um, we just finished Denizen, and what an epic ending that was. Um, you know, I feel really sad that we lost Ty, and we lost Rook. Like, we lost Carmine. That was a big deal. I thought Carmine was going to, for some reason, I thought Carmine was going to make it through this, because I, I don't know, guys, I keep forgetting what the name of it is. I do know there's Gears of War 1, 2, 3, 4, in five but i'm not sure if, if, if gears of war is it gears of war four or was it a gears of war that was like a a side game or something i thought rookie was in that game was on the cover i i still need to go look all that up um but i was really surprised to see him go and in such a sad way too so this was really quite an episode we lost ty which i was sad about we lost carmine which I was even a little more sad about. Um, but we've got the original crew back together, and that I'm really happy about, having Coltrane and having Baird back with us, having the original foursome. Uh, that does feel right. Um, and what a level that was going into the, the belly of the beast, going into that big giant worm, and uh, and then having to you know, cut all the veins and take out the heart and man that was insane so uh that was really cool now we're, we're there's a queen there's a locust queen um and i have a feeling that's gonna be like maybe we're gonna be journeying to that you know as like the end of the game but um i mean that was only the end of that chapter and i will say the chapters are longer i think in this game i think that the the story arc in, in Gears of War 2 is longer. Oh, and speaking of story, we got another flashback with Dom and Maria. And I'm, I'm assuming that was pre-E-Day, um, Immersion Day. Because where they were, unless that was just a fantasy dream of his, um, like, you know, he he was waking up and she was there i think she had made breakfast and you could see the palm trees outside and it definitely was not this world um and of course you know then he woke up and you know he was inside the worm but um it makes me wonder if is that his own imagination in a dream or was that what life was for him before all this started and obviously that's maria she said you know the kids aren't here right now so i'm assuming they had a family um and now that even that because you guys know me i'm a dad i'm a husband i'm a you know like i i find great uh identity in those things and so for me as a gamer and as someone watching the story i'm feeling as much as i enjoy being marcus it's fun i really have dom's best interest in, in heart uh you know so i really hope that I really, really hope he gets reunited with Maria. I'm out of all of this stuff. I think I'm gonna feel the saddest if we find out Maria is dead, um, you know, and he doesn't have her. 
I'm gonna feel really sad. Like Ty was a hard loss, Carmine was even harder, but my heartstrings are gonna get pulled the most if I find out um, in the story that Marie is not there and Dom's lost his wife too. And it makes me wonder, what about his kids? You know, if he's looking for Maria, did they already lose their kids? Or are they out there? Were, were they all together? I don't know that full story, but man, I can't wait to find out. I hope you guys really enjoyed this episode. I know I did, and I'm looking forward to playing more of this with you guys next time. Well, okay, guys, that's going to do it for this episode. And thank you guys so much for watching this. It was a lot of fun. Uh, like I said, I'm just really excited with where the story's going to go. I feel like there's more of a story this time. Uh, I really enjoyed the first game, and it got me really connected to the characters, but now I'm getting even more connected with the characters. And there's a sense of loss, but there is a sense of gain in this episode for me as well. The loss of some characters I enjoyed, but now we've got the original four back, and I'm really happy about that. And I'm excited to see what's going to happen happen with uh, this locust queen and also finding out if if they're ever able to find Maria so I uh, can't wait to see where this game's gonna take us I hope you guys enjoyed it if you did do me a favor and click like on this video and also make sure to subscribe for more content that would really help both of those things would really help the channel out actually so definitely uh, hit that like button hit that subscribe button come hang out with us at discord the link for that is down below and if you'd like to dive in deeper with me and and support what you see here uh, with Let's Play Easy Mode, then make sure to check us out at Patreon by going to this link right here. Guys, I love you so much. Thank you so much for watching this. It was a real joy of mine to play this game, experience it with you guys, and be able to share my reactions to this game with you. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it too. I will talk to you next time. But until then, take it easy.